In here, we will look at the customer order frequency and we will answer a couple of questions. First, how frequently do our customers buy from us? And second, how many of our five times repeat customers bought in 2020? If you need an LOD expressions refresher, please check out another comprehensive tutorial I have on this topic. I will put up a link in the card above and description down below. Let's jump to Tableau. Before creating our calculated field, let us take a look at some of our details first. Let's drag over customer ID and let us figure out how often they have bought from us. So I'm going to take order ID, right click drag onto columns and then select count distinct. Let's also show the labels. There's a quick way to do that in your toolbar, just show the marked labels. Let's also force some of the labels to show up, even if there might be overlaps with other marks. So under the label property in your marks card, I'm going to select allow labels to overlap with other marks. So what we want to be able to answer is the number of customers that bought a certain range. For example, counting the number of customers that bought five times, and we can see that there's a few of them. We might be inclined to think that all we need to do is to count the customers. But in here, what's going to happen is when we click on this drop down and convert this into a measure of count distinct, we are going to lose that level of detail. Essentially, what we want is a breakdown of the frequency as well as the number of customers. And by default, we cannot achieve that with the default behavior that comes with Tableau. So let us create our fixed level of detail expression. Let me just undo this. This worksheet right here, this already tells us the numbers that we want to achieve. We can use this as our cheat sheet when we are creating our fixed level of detail expression. So on the dropdown, create calculated field. Let us call this number of purchases. And I'm just going to mark this as fixed. And in here, we want fixed. And this is fixed by our customer ID. And the aggregation that we want is our number of orders. So we can simply just drag that over as well if you already have it in your canvas. Okay, and click OK. What we get from this calculated field is a measure. Now I will show you a couple of ways we can use this measure. Let's just clear the sheet. So if we simply wanted this to be a label that goes with our customers, we can technically move this up into our dimensions. We can drag this over to display it. And from here, we can count the number of customers that we have in each of these frequencies. So right click, drag customer ID onto rows and then count distinct customer ID. And this is the frequency that we have. Let's display our mark labels again. And in here, we can see that there are 12 customers who bought only one time. There are 34 customers who have bought twice and so forth. One thing we can notice though, is we are missing some numbers. So we have 13, we also have 17, but this doesn't give us numbers 14 all the way to 16 because there is no information. There is no data associated with those frequencies. So another option that we do have, if we want to create a histogram is to leave this calculated field as a measure and create a bin from it. So let's try that out. Let's duplicate our calculated field, right click, duplicate, and we're going to leave this one as a measure. So drag that down again. And from here, we can right click and create a bin from this. So right click bin, and I'm just going to set the bin to every one value. So it's going to give me numbers from one to 17 and click on okay. So let's duplicate this worksheet because I want to be able to compare them. Duplicate. So in here, instead of our original dimension, we are going to replace this with our bin field. So the one that we just created from our measure. So take this and then drag this over on top of what we already have in our columns to replace it. I'm just going to put these two charts in a dashboard so we can see them side by side. So let's create a dashboard and we're going to drag over the first one. We're also going to drag over the copy right underneath it. I'm just going to adjust the height and from here, we can see the big difference. With our field that is a dimension, we are missing those numbers. However, with the field where we are using the bin, we have numbers 14, 15, 16, and then 17. We are not missing those values. It is possible to achieve something similar using our original dimension field. What we can do is simply convert this field into continuous, and that will give us an axis, therefore completing any of the missing values. So on the drop down, continuous. In this case, we simply just need to make adjustments to the mark type and the spacing of the marks. Instead of automatic, let's click on the drop down. Let's select a bar 
And from here, adjust the size, perhaps make some adjustments to the width. And from a formatting perspective, perhaps simply taking away the grid line. So under format, lines, selecting grid lines to none. And this one has a similar effect. The alignment of the labels though are a little bit different, but it is still workable. For our second question, how many of our five times repeat customers bought in 2020? So essentially what we are asking is how many of these 134 customers, how many of them bought in 2020? So in this case, we can use either of these fields to answer this question. So let's drag over our dimension and we are also going to display the years of the order date. So drag over order date across the column. So this creates us a matrix and then let us count the number of customers for each of these intersections. So right click drag customer ID onto our view. And then here we want to choose count distinct, click on okay. And I'm also going to add the total so we can just double check our numbers. So on the analytics tab, I'm going to double click on totals. So what we are looking at is our five times repeat customers, which is right here. So how many of them bought in 2020? And the answer is 104. What we can also see is the total is correct. There are 134 customers who bought five times overall in their lifetime. The other thing that I just wanted to point out in this particular example is notice that because we are using a count distinct, these numbers are not additive. You have 500, 500, these are not adding up to 793. And what this means is some customers actually keep on coming back. So these numbers are not additive and that's totally fine. This is the correct number.